this object more than just a little bit interesting. If you pay close attention to it, you can see that it's one unbroken, continuous circuit all the way around. That is amazing! Pocket83 is killing it. If you haven't already seen his channel, do yourself and me and him a favor and go subscribe. Anyways, I have to make one of those, but I want to try aluminum. I'm just going to be working with what I have here, so have to go see what that is. Well, that's a bit small, but I think it'll work. And being aluminum, I might want it small so I don't have to make such big cuts. I think it's a good thing I have enough for two tries. As far as the method, Check his video out. I'll put a link in the description. He does a real good job of explaining it. Some people jog. Some people go to the gym. Some people cut through an inch and a half aluminum cube with a hacksaw. All right, I've got a reasonable cube here. Alright, I have all these odd little happy faces drilled out. Now I just need to remove these corners from all sides. I'll start by removing those corners from the blue side. That is going to cut off this part of the pattern from the green side and the red side, but that's okay. Next I'll cut this side, this side, and this side. If you think about it, you can still see that smiley face, and it's these three sides that we cut. So that's the blue side and the red side done. Next is the green side. So I'll be removing this, this, 
and this. Next, I need to remove this part. Well, they say you can work aluminum with woodworking tools, so a chisel. I'm really kind of amazed at how well this chisel is working in the aluminum. As I'm finishing this thing up, I'm starting to realize I kind of like the imperfections. All the little marks from the chisel and things like that. It makes it, it shows that it's handmade. It doesn't look like it was mass produced. So I think I'm actually gonna leave those. I'm not gonna try to polish it up really nice. I'll just knock down the burrs and make sure there's nowhere to cut yourself on it and call it done. This is a project that I highly recommend that you try. You can make it out of wood, of course, you don't have to use aluminum, but this project forces you to think in 3D. Just looking at the surfaces, even with those red and green and blue smiley faces that we drew on the surface to start with, those don't give you all the information that is required to make this thing. So you really have to think in 3D. I do encourage you to try this. And definitely, if you're going to, check out Pocket83's video. He does a really good job of explaining how to do it. Again, that's linked in the description. Thanks for watching. <laughs>